What's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And this is our intersection test number five, the fifth iteration. And you can see here, I'm actually in autopilot and that's because we're running 2019.40.50.7 in all these clips that you're gonna see in this video. And you can see here, we're testing the autopilot in the right hand lane, heading straight through the intersection. And it starts off doing a fantastic job. Something really happened special with 50.7 and now we can actually take autopilot down to zero. Previously, it was locked to the lowest speed of 18 miles per hour. Two months ago, somebody asked, what if there was no car in front of you? And at that time, I didn't think it was possible to test that, but now you can see I'm actually in control and I can take it up one and then back to zero while I wait for this red light to turn green to test this intersection. So if you've seen my other videos, you know that the autopilot wants to jump into the left lane. There's two lanes going through this intersection and it wants to go from the right lane to the left lane. And check out these blue lines. This is while I'm sitting here, the autopilot's trying to figure out where it needs to go or predicting the path straight ahead. And it's impossible for the car to do that because there's no lane lines or poor lane markings. And you can see we have a lot of traffic going in front of us on this cross section road, but we don't pick up those cars. We only pick it up when it's the other left hand turn, those cars turning in front of us. We see those on our display. So our light is getting ready to turn green and I'm really excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the right scroll wheel to scroll up now that the light has turned green and we're gonna see what happens. Almost immediately, the car on the, our left side gets out in front of us and it looked like the autopilot was gonna take the path right behind this big gray Honda Pilot here. I did have to take over. You can see on my display, there was a car following that Honda Pilot. So another test here, same software version, we're following this blue Prius, and it is successful in passing through the intersection, staying in the right-hand lane. So Robert commented on one of my previous intersection test videos, what happens if the car in front of you changes lanes in the middle of the intersection? This is as close as I've come to that particular situation, Robert, but it did maintain the correct lane position, although the car it was following transition lanes from right to left. So now we have yet another test. We are not the first car. We are behind this van, waiting for the light to turn green. It has just turned green, and I'm hopeful that the autopilot is able to carry us through the intersection. Keep your eye on the two blue lines on the center touch display, and watch how they bounce left to right, and then back again, and the autopilot does pass and is able to stay in that right-hand lane without a takeover. Now, I do believe it did struggle here a bit. You can see the two blue lines jump to the left-hand lane, like it thinks it's supposed to be over there, and then realizes, nope, there's two lanes, and jumps back to the right-hand lane as soon as it picks up that far edge over there. So here you can see we are the first car. We are starting at zero miles per hour, so we will be the first car. There is no car to follow. There is a car to our left, if you look on the center display. It is slightly behind me on my left, and you can see the red car from my rear view camera that I have up for you. So once the light turns green, again, I'm gonna use the right scroll wheel and turn it up, like you see here, and we're gonna see what happens. So that car does get a jump on us, and almost immediately, it wants to follow that red car again, but I do want to train the system, and so I do take over there again, because it almost immediately just went right behind the car, transitioning from the right lane to the left lane mid-intersection. So this is definitely still an issue, and definitely a lot harder when you're the first car. So here we're following a bigger truck through the intersection. Same software version, 50.7, but now we are at car number two. So the autopilot isn't able to see the traffic light. And keep in mind, I'm running a 2.5 hardware Model 3 right here, so it won't show the traffic light. And it is doing a fantastic job following the truck right until the end where it gets a little bit close to that left-hand lane. I wanna slow that down real quick. And you can see, watch the right blue line. You can see it pick up that exterior edge and then it realizes, okay, I definitely need to scoot the car over. So it's not until it picks up that far edge on the right side of the road, and that's when it realizes that there is two lanes heading straight through this traffic light. So here we are again following this black Jeep, and mid-intersection looking good until I have to take over. As you can see, the car was definitely heading towards that left lane and not following the black Jeep. Another test here, again, with the same software version. This is at dusk with a lot of mist, 
and heavy fog, so not a lot of light out. And so we're going to see everybody's headlights are on, and we're about six or seven cars back from the traffic light. You can see it there in the center of the screen. It just turned green, and we're going to see what happens being this many cars back. The autopilot has a lot of cars in the right-hand lane that it needs to follow, and hopefully it is able to follow. So you can see we're up to 10, 15 miles an hour. It asked me to keep my hands on the wheel. I do always keep my hands on the wheel. It's really hugging that left-hand side, and there is a car coming up. You can see that in my rear view camera that I had up, and I did have to disengage and take over. So it was a fail here. You can see in my rear view camera, a car is coming up on my left-hand side, and the autopilot is trying to transition lanes mid-intersection. It is not following the car in front of me, so that is a fail again with 50.7. Here is another one misting and at complete night, so it is nighttime, and mid-intersection, and the autopilot fails again. And this is an easy test because it's following a car in front of us. The only thing the autopilot needs to do is follow the car that's directly in front of us, but you can see the blue line starting to drift over to the left-hand side along with the car and before I have to take over because there is somebody in that left-hand lane. So overall with 50.7, this is worse than the intersection test number four that I put up. A lot more fails and a lot more drifting over to that left-hand side than I saw in previous software versions. Now, I can't wait to test when I get the FSD or 3.0 hardware installed in my Model 3 because I have purchased the FSD software. Being able to start autopilot from zero like you see here definitely presents a lot more challenges for the autopilot system. Let me know what you guys thought of this test with 50.7 of the intersection test down below in the comment section. I wanna give a big thank you to all of you that are supporting me over on Patreon. You can show your support for as little as a dollar a month and for $4 a month, you get YouTube early access. For the all electric tier, you get early access and you get a shout out at the end of all of my videos. The all electric supporters I have right now are Graham Matul and Nicola Pro. Thank you guys so much and thank you so much to all of my other patrons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing and make sure you share this video with a friend. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.